Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? I am doing well. How about yourself? I'm good. How was your workout? My workout was good. Yeah. What did yeah. you do today? I, today was um, shoulders. I did shoulders. I did triceps. I did 10 minute cardio blitz when I started. You did your blitz? Okay. Yeah. And I did abs. How's that going? So far, so good. It's only been two days in a row, but so yeah, far, so good. Yeah, I was going to say, because you haven't done it in a while. Is yeah. it hard? Um, no. Well, yeah. I mean, so obviously my wind isn't what it used to be, which right. is weird, you know. Just tells you the difference between doing some cardio and not doing cardio. Like your your wind changes. Right. But um, you know, second day was better than the first. And my goal was to do it five days a week. So yeah, we'll see. Yikes. You know. Um, I did cardio today. So I uh, rode the Expresso exercise bike for an hour or so. Right. Uphill both ways. Yeah, I would see you getting up there. Yeah, I ride very hilly courses, yes. so that's what happens. Mm -hmm. um, some people stop by to talk to you tonight. Yeah, one of the women that worked there stopped by. It's funny because she's uh, she wants to talk to me about whole food plant-based eating, but then she wants to defend eating chicken and fish and turkey yeah. and whatever. And I'm just like, well, if you want to eat that, don't just, talk, don't ask me. Yeah, like, just eat it. I, I don't understand. You don't have to defend it. If that's your choice. That's your choice. Right, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, obviously it's a fasting day. Yep. You have your turmeric tea. I do have my turmeric tea. And I have ginger and turmeric tea over here so that's going to be the extent of it till six o'clock tonight or so correct yeah interestingly i don't miss the coffee no 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 that's good that is good yeah i do sometimes i just, no, I just like having a hot beverage so to me i guess it doesn't really matter whether it's you know there's turmeric tea or coffee right right so we wanted to talk to you guys um about how you can't out exercise a bad diet yes we've talked about that we've like touched on it briefly before but we want to actually talk about some of like why and our experience with it right so you know that we've been athletes basically our whole lives right working out a lot um you more consistently than me there are definitely times in my life where i would take months off from the gym right but i used to 40 years ago you never took months off from no, the gym. Once really you did. started, you just go. Yeah. We go on vacation. He's like, you think we can find a gym? And I'm yeah. Like, We're on vacation. Give it a break. There was a week. time where I would not go on vacation unless I was sure there was a place I could work out. I know. And it, and it couldn't be one of these uh, hotel workout rooms. You know, it had mm -hmm. to be a, a facility. Yeah. Hey, Bridge. Thanks for the hearts. Those yeah. are fun. Morning. Um. So you're not quite that crazy anymore. No, I'm not. But. We still do work out a lot, but up till you know, a year ago, we were working out five days a week, riding our bike, you know, 50 miles a week, and we were still gaining weight. Our cholesterol was still going up. Right. And that, I mean, if that's not evidence you can't out-exercise a bad diet, I don't know what is. And I guess the scary thing, too, is not only was our weight going up, but more so our cholesterol was going up. Right. So even if we didn't think we looked that much chunkier, although I did feel like I was looking a little chunky there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was just the fact that the cholesterol kept going up and the bad cholesterol kept going up, which I'm like, what's going on here? I'm eating chicken. I'm eating potatoes. I'm eating, you know, vegetables. And that, that was the challenge we were having is that we were eating a healthy standard American diet and it wasn't enough. Right. Working out is great, but you have to eat healthy, healthy too, or it doesn't go with, it doesn't, it doesn't give you all the benefits. Right. And everything that we're watching on about plant-based nutrition is it says, as long as you're moving, you mm -hmm. know, even if you're just walking, that's really good, right. you know, for you as long it, the food you eat is more important than, than, the, exercise than the amount of exercise yeah. you're getting. As yeah. long as you're moving, you're keeping your joints the, lubricated yes. and stuff. I think the exercise important part is, more important for that, for lubricating the joints and not becoming stiff and not becoming, you know, so, you, you know, you can't walk around, things start aching you. Because if we become sanitary. Sen Sed sedentary. Sedentary, thank you. Um, that's what happens. You don't use it, you lose it. Right, You know what I mean? I mean exactly. That's the bottom line. Yeah. And yeah, it's weird that we both struggle with cholesterol. We were eating so healthy, but we were. But the thing was, we were eating a lot of chicken a lot of fish right. and a lot of turkey, turkey, which we've since learned has a lot of really bad cholesterol right. in it. Right. And we've since learned that it's not, you know, um, it's not the overeating so much as it is the fat in animal products that really is what creates the cholesterol. And the stress it causes your body right. to be able to process it because right. your body's not designed. We've talked before how humans have long intestinal systems like herbivores, not short intestinal systems like carnivores. And so moving meat through a long intestinal system is a challenge and it takes a lot of work and a lot right. of effort. Right. So. And, and there's just a lot of people at the gym that 
think they are physically fit. I mean, and if you look at them, you'd say, okay, I mean, some more so than others, but uh, basically, yeah, they'd see, they would appear to be physically fit. I'm guessing if they had blood work done, no, they'd be shocked to find their LDLs very high. And Even know, if their cholesterol is normal, their LDL might yeah. be high. And we're even finding out now that even the HDL can be too high. Yeah, it can be too high, right? I always thought the higher the HDL, the better, you know, um, but, you know, basically... Everybody should be shooting for 150 or under as far as your total cholesterol. Which is crazy. Like yeah. ne I never would have even thought that that was achievable. Right. right. And now it seems like on the whole food plant-based diet, that's normal and right. average. And they've showed these these studies with these, um, you know, tribes, you know, um, current and from the past where they've done blood work on them. And their total cholesterol is like 90, 80 something, you know. Yeah. And, and that's their, their basic diet are plants. A rare case where they'd hunt and get some meat product, but... But they're also very active. But they're also very active, right. But it is, it's interesting when you start looking at the science about how, you know, when you're really young, your body can uh, can process all that, and if you exercise, we've seen it. We've seen huh? people who, they, you know, drink like fishes, they yeah. eat whatever, they're in, you know, bar food and what, whatnot, but they're in the gym all the time, and they still look pretty good. I, I, I'm laughing because I was talking, this uh, guy we talked to, at the name uh, Rich, at the gym. And, um, you know, we were talking about, and then the line is, well, you also have to live. And I automatically, and I, I'm sorry, I keep referencing movies. I go to the old Clint, Lee, Clint Eastwood movies where he goes, you know, where the guy says, man's got to make a living. He goes, dying ain't a living. You know, <laughs> well, that's kind of how I feel about you got to, you got to eat, you got to live. If you're eating bad, well, dying ain't living. Right. You know, and, exactly. and, and living with, you know, half a dozen ailments that, that make your life miserable is not living either. Right. So yeah. if, you know, we've said before, between the fasting and the eating plants and the working out, I think that fasting is probably going to give you the fastest results. Right. But for whatever reason, when you say the word fasting, people flip out. Like they don't do well they can't, with fasting. They can't deal with the, the being deprived. Right. That's yeah. what they feel about it, that it's deprived. Yeah. So, you know, in, they, in the lecture we watched, he talked about how he can take people with black feet having yes. diabetes. And in 10 days on a water fast, get their circulation back and their feet start to turn pink again right. and they can walk. And they start losing their, di their, their diabetes. The diabetes gets I mean, better. That's just phenomenal to me. I mean, like, and, and I know we said this yesterday, but these are people that are basically, their doctors told them you have to take your feet off. And, mm -hmm. and then you go to this guy, you know. And he's uh, like, no, we just got to take the food you off. You just got to take the food <laughs> off. And he, and he did fast them for 10 days on, on nothing but just water. Just water, yeah. They basically locked them in a room and said, you will, you will drink water. We'll see you in 10 days, you know? <laughs> and Bridge has started fasting, and she's seen a great change yeah. in her body. It just makes you healthier and leaner. It gives your body a chance to clean up cells it doesn't need. That, that's the most important part, I think, mm -hmm. is to give your body a chance to stop worrying about digesting food and start thinking about what in the body, what needs to be fixed. What do we have to send out the Army to? And, right. You know, and, and then we mentioned yesterday that um, they've done studies where – or and fat, and we know this. Like I, instinctively, when I say it, you're gonna make, oh yeah. In the animal kingdom, if an animal gets really sick, the first thing they do is stop eating, right. and they just go on a water, water. fast. Right. And the point being is, why wait till you're so sick that your body says, "Don't put food in me. I need time to heal." Right. Do that first, because you you we're smart. We have frontal cortexes. Yes. And say, oh wait, I can do this sooner. Right. So oh, we don't, but yes, we could. Well, <laughs> some of us do. Some of us do. So there's the, so fasting, I think, is your fastest way to you know health and lean, right. and then after that comes the whole food plant based, and the more whole food whole food plant based you can be, the better it's going to be for you. Yes. Definitely. Now, if if you're at fifty percent, that's better than at zero. Absolutely. You know, so there's a spectrum, and I always encourage people get on the path and then start moving toward. And the more you learn, and the more you start eating plants, the easier it is to just eat plants. And I think the important part of that, which you just said at the end there, was the more you learn. Um, when you get on this path, I think it's important to learn, to get more information. Now, we're a resource, obviously, so people can learn from us, and the website will be up hopefully tomorrow. No, it's going to be tomorrow. It's looking good. He keeps but, says hopefully. Well, no, because tomorrow. there's still some pretty heavy programming that has to be done. <laughs> but, um, you know, all well, certainly, you know, now when we say it could be up tomorrow, that could be midnight, by the way, so... <laughs> <laughs> just well, just a fair warning, <laughs> mm. but um, you know, but you know, the 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 need for knowledge, and, and on our website, on our resources page, 
we have these documentaries that, that are on, uh, you know, on YouTube. Well, why, so tell me why you feel like learning is important. How is it adding value to, do, to you? Not, rather than just having me say, hey, this is good for you, do it. Why is learning beneficial? Um, because, what, because it's explained, right? So it gives you the why. It gives you the why, um, and I think that's important. And when you start doing it and you start seeing the benefits, I think it's natural to want to have more benefits. And so as you educate yourself and you find out, oh, if I do this, I can get that benefit or these more benefits will come my way. So you way. feel like it's motivating? I think it's motivating, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, what do you guys think? Do you feel like you know having, having more knowledge helps you be more motivated to do it rather than I, – I know for me, if food was just showing up at the door, like I was in one of these programs where they just show you food and you have to eat it, it would be really easy to say, okay, I'm done with that and go back to – the standard way of eating. Right. Whereas I found that, um, yeah, Laura, I'm not surprised that you agree that knowledge is so powerful. Yes. Um, I've definitely found that it's so easy to stay on this because I have the knowledge of what it does to my body if I don't. Right. So it's not like, oh, I'm deprived. It's like, no, I'm doing myself this huge favor. Right. And, and I think big food, and that could be, you, you name whatever industry you want, big meat, big sugar, whatever. Beverage. Um, right. Their goal is to keep everybody blind. Mm -hmm. Right. Knowledge is king, and they want you all to be pawns. You know. And yeah, and Bridge agrees too that yeah. knowledge is so helpful. Yes. I I do that, and I agree with you. If if they can keep you, us, right, confused, unsure, and whatever, then they win. They make profit. They, they spend a lot of marketing dollars. That's the industry I'm in, and I see it all the time. They spend a lot of marketing dollars. To and the goal is to confuse people. It's, if you give them it's enough, not as bad as cigarettes. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> Meat is as bad as yes, for you as cigarettes, really but that's is. a whole separate issue. Exactly. So I, mean, I think that that's true. The more you get educated, the easier it is to travel along this path to health. Mm -hmm. And then so then the last piece would be, you know, adding adding the exercise. Although I do feel like if, if you can't change your diet, I'm not suggesting you don't exercise. Oh, yeah, absolutely I'm not, not saying that. Yes. I'm just saying that. As far as benefits go, you're going to see a lot more from the intermittent fasting and from eating plants. Then it, exercise might keep you stable. Although we see a lot of people in the gym and they're there a lot and, and they're they they look, and they're, they're gaining, gaining weight. weight. Yes, yes. <laughs> and not muscles. Right. And what I would say is that, I mean, my peak, my cholesterol was 220 combined. Right. Yours wasn't as high as mine. Right. <clears throat> mine was 256. Um, so I, I, I hate to think what my cholesterol would be if I didn't work out as much as I did. I mean, I might have been over 300. That's scary, you know? isn't and it? That's just, you and me and, both. And with the same diet. I mean, just cut out the exercise. We keep the same mostly you know, all chicken, fish, and turkey, you know, potatoes or rice or pasta, you know, and um, vegetables. I mean, we almost we had a vegetable at every meal. It's not like we, we didn't eat vegetables. We did. You know, um, but yet I was still creeping up. Yeah. And I was working out, you know, I mean, up until, you know, I don't know, five years ago, I, I was working out six days a week. And then five years ago, I switched to five days a week. Now I work out five days a week, occasionally six. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> so the point being is that, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are really concerned about their health and they're exercising like fiends and then they don't see results and then they get discouraged and they just stop. Right. And I, I really feel like I need to be able to reach those people and say, hey, if you don't put so much energy into exercise and put a little bit of energy either into intermittent fasting or into you know, eating more plants, you're going to see results and you're going right. to see that progress. So I think that that's the, that's the, me the takeaway message is exercise is great. I'm not yes. discouraging it by no. any stretch, but it's just, it's not enough. I can't live without it. I won't. <laughs> and it's, <laughs> I guess the thing is I can speak from experience because I do exercise a lot yeah. and it wasn't enough. It wasn't giving me results. Um, and even as, as long ago as 10 years ago, you know, it, it wasn't giving me the same results. I didn't, I wasn't as lean as I felt like I should be. And when I asked my doctor, she was like, yeah, you're getting older, you gain weight. Which is, no, just change your diet. You know, but I, I feel like that's what they're taught. As you age, they are. this is what happens. They are. You and know? My, you know what my friend said to me? My friend said, Robin, just buy Spanx like the rest yeah, of us. Geez. And I'm like, that's not how my body works. <laughs> no, that's not a good answer. Yeah. And people, do. you're right, Bridge. People give up because they think it's too hard and they don't, they just don't have the right information. Mm -hmm. So 
that's that's our takeaway on exercise. It's great. I encourage you to do it, but yes. by itself, it's not going to give you the results that you right. need. Right. And so when you go into your doctor and your doctor's like, have more willpower, eat less and exercise more. That's not really the answer. Eat the right foods, eat more of them and then exercise a little bit. And so the bottom line is you could work out a lot and still have a bad diet and still have a bad system. Still have high cholesterol, a lot of problems, get ailments, get diabetes, all those things. Yeah. On the other side of the coin is you can go on a whole food plant-based diet and exercise a little or moderately and have your cholesterol below 150, not have any of the ailments um, that that associated with bad diet. So Right. Yeah. And Laura made the point that when she started running that she got heavier because it made her hungry. Right. And you're right. I had the same experience, especially if I swim. Swimming makes me ravenous. Mm. And you do. I ended up eating so much more when I was swimming and before we went on this Right. this whole food. I mean, now it doesn't matter. I can eat as much as I want because it's whole food and it just goes. And the truth of the matter is we always talk about when we first started, di tried to diet, we tried what we call the superhero diet. Don't look it up. It doesn't really exist. We, we made, made it, made it up. up. The reality <laughs> is whole food plant-based dieting is the superhero diet. That's true. It is. It really is. That's true. We tried yeah. one and what didn't work. We tried a different one. Right. So, so I'm getting the cape done later on today <laughs> and spandex because you got to look in spandex if you're going to be a superhero. Oh, geez. No? I can't wait to see that. <laughs> Bridge had the same thing. Your doctor said the same thing to her. Yeah. So, yeah. Whole, yeah, see? Superhero diet. There Whole you go. Face. Maybe we'll start calling it that. We'll start calling this our superhero diet. Exactly. <laughs> that would be funny. So, but that's what we wanted to share with you guys today was that Exercise is phenomenal, and I have nothing against it. I do a lot of it, and I definitely encourage you to move. Yeah. But by itself, it's not going to give you the health benefits that you're looking for. You just have to tweak your diet a little bit and start adding more plants and getting yourself educated about whole food, yes. plant-based, and intermittent fasting because that's going to give you the motivation to keep doing it I, I and the like, changes in your body. You know, I feel like if we could just – what I would encourage people to do is when you have friends or relatives that you want to – see them improve their diet, you know, it, it, I don't know what the right word is, but, but try to get them to watch Forks Over Knives. That's the bottom line. <laughs> I think that's an excellent place to start. Um, there are extreme cases in that documentary. I mean, all the people in there are extreme, but the message from that movie, from that documentary to me, isn't that you can fix these extreme diseases because they did. The, mess, the real message is that if we just changed our diets, even a little bit, and got away from animal products even a little bit we are going to do so much for our bodies and we're going to yeah. do so much for our health so a little bit of knowledge goes a long way yeah so if if you guys are getting benefit from this and the knowledge that we're sharing and you know people who you know would benefit not because you want to tell them hey you're fat but because you want to say hey i want you to be healthy share mm -hmm. this with them i mean you and I, I think, are one of the few people in this industry who aren't hardcore, like, this is how you have to do it. Right. We're like, hey, give it a try. Think right. about this. Have you learned that? Start slow. I mean, Take one step. I posted a thing on Facebook yesterday, and all I said was, for your consideration, during the Paleolithic era, humans only lived to age 25. So it was a great diet for 25. If you want to live to be 25, then you should eat like the Paleolithic people did. Right, if exactly. not, then maybe you should try something else. They probably didn't have very many diseases because, you know, an lion ate them. <laughs> Dear, that's not nice. Um, but so share this with with people. You know, like it. Help us get the message out so that people can learn a little bit. Because knowledge is power when it right. comes to your health. Absolutely. Did you have anything else you wanted to add about exercise? I think that's it. Okay. Well, thanks for being here, guys. It's Thank good you. to see you always. Share and all that stuff. I have said share did and say like. That? I oh, did. I'm sorry. I, didn't I hear asked it. him to. It's all good. We can ask right. him again. Yes. Please share. Please um, spread the word that we're trying to help people out. Uh, we're excited to have our website going up. And we're looking excited, looking for that, and you'll, you'll folks will be the first to know. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And so with that, we will say, eat real food, not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great we'll day, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.